Hello, my name is Eric Gregori, and uh, today we're going to cover the um, the Robot Vision Toolkit Mindset uh, language extension. And this is uh, this language extension is a uh, oh, you can download the uh, the Robot Vision Toolkit with the language extension from EMGRobotics.com. Uh, so let's go to the website here. So this is. Um, this is NeuroSky's website, uh, and this is the store. I, see, I just wanted to get in a, a picture of sort of the hardware there. Hopefully you can see it. It's a, it looks almost like a headset. It's a Bluetooth device. That little arm is not a microphone. That little arm actually goes on your forehead, and it's used to read your, essentially your EKG. You can actually read about how everything works uh, on the website. Uh, it's a www. Let's see, hopefully I can get it in there www.neurosky.com and the name of the headset I'm using here is called the Mindset. So with that said, let's go ahead and just uh, talk a little bit about how it works and show you what it looks like. So <clears throat> that's me. You can see the headset on my head uh, and, you can, and you notice the thing that looks like a microphone is actually on my forehead. So what that's doing is that's recording my, my EKG and they've got some proprietary algorithms that they run uh, that provide for me, from a, a software point of view, they provide me essentially an attention number and a meditation number. Now, they also offer some other variables, actually lots of other information, but that's we're going to concentrate on those. Uh, actually, we're going to concentrate on the attention number for this demo. Uh, using Robot C, um, you can access this. Uh, you can actually access the data off this headset uh, using just uh, two command, uh, two keywords. Uh, I make it as easy as possible. Of course, that's the whole advantage of uh, the Robot Vision Toolkit and Robot C. The goal is to take uh, complex software and complex devices like this and make it as easy as possible for the people to interface to them and use them for their robotics. So in this case, let's go ahead and go. Uh, you can download the Robot Vision Toolkit from www.emgrobotics.com. Uh, once you download it and install it, You'll have a, in your, whatever you install it, you're going to have an EMG Robotics directory, Robot Vision Toolkit directory. Go into the bin, B-I-N, load up the IDE. Let's see, let me shrink this IDE down a little bit. And the IDE is a nice little color-coded IDE. I'll show you that in a second. Let's see. Hopefully it's the right size. Minimize this over here and here's the IDE hopefully you can see it all and I'm going to go ahead and load up the example and this particular example is called um, should be mindsetgraphic.c and you can see that the IDE it loads it up it's all color coded those are comments uh, in all my examples that I write for or the robot vision toolkit I include lots of comments that describe what the code does, how the language extensions work. As you can see, there's actually there's three keywords here. Using those three keywords, you got access to all the data uh, coming out of this headset. Now, this headset is co uh, connected via Bluetooth to my laptop here. Um, and when you buy the headset, you do get a little a nice little Bluetooth dongle. It's actually a really good deal. Oh, and just sort of the promote the headset a little bit. Um, it also works as a really nice, actually, Bluetooth headset, audio headset, stereo headset. I use it all the time with Pandora. It works fantastic. Um, and it actually also works um, with my iPhone as a, uh, you know, like a little you know, Bluetooth ear stub thing. There's a little microphone. I think it's right here. Um, I, I'm not using this microphone now. I'm using the microphone in the camera, so don't judge the audio quality from that. But... Um, uh, it was it was a good deal even at, at 200 bucks I think it was a really good deal just as a stereo Bluetooth headset uh, sound quality is great um, anyway so here's the code you can again when you, you can download all this for free um, here's the code and what you'll notice in this particular example is this example I'm going to demonstrate the output of the headset via uh, a 2D graphic using the Robot C graphics language extension which I talk about in another video um, Using that language extension, I'm going to load up a little gauge and display the data from the headset. Just the one uh, signal, excuse me, the uh, tension signal. I'm going to display that to the um, to the screen in a graphical format. So and as you can see, it's just a couple of lines of code. This is the whole loop right here. It's just a couple of lines of code. We're going to go through, we're going to read the headset, and then we're going to go through, uh, process the signal, and then we're going to update the 2D graphics. So let's go ahead and 
run uh, using the IDE, you can run or debug your programs right within the IDE. Okay, and here we go. You can see there's the. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see it. There's your console out, and here's your graphic out. And what you'll see is as I. So this is the attention signal. So as I concentrate, uh, let's see if you can. This ought to be comical. You can. Let's see. You can watch me here. So you can watch me here, and you can see the output over here. So as I concentrate. I've, <laughs> uh, I've actually gotten pretty good. If I start doing uh, mathematical calculations in my head, usually I can get it to, to go up. Um, but now, of course, that I'm on video, I can't get it to do what I want. See, now I, I'm relaxed. So when I'm relaxed, it's, it's down below 40. So the number, the range is when you're relaxed, it's below 40. Between 40 and 60 is basically neutral. And if you concentrate on something, so right now I'm concentrating on tracking, doing the calculations on the numbers for the, the screen recorder. And it went up for a second there, and then as soon as I stopped doing the concentrating, it went down. But as I concentrate, I can get it to go up. So let me see if I can. Come on, go up. So it, as you can see, it takes a little training. It's actually a fun thing to play around with. They, they, it comes with a really nice um, tool. Uh, it's called a visualizer, which lets you um, helps you train with it. It's got a couple of video games in there. I mean, it's a really nice package. It's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, tried it out on my kids and everything. And uh, of course, with the Robot Vision Toolkit extension, you could use this output to control a robot. So what I've got is a uh, for the next video, I've got a walking robot, and the speed that the robot walks is dependent on how hard you're concentrating. Um, of course, you could do anything. Yeah, I just gotta stop talking. So, <laughs> it's actually quite fun. Um, I think when you're not making a video, it's probably a little easier to do. I was able to control it a lot better before. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's the uh, this is video one anyway of the mindset uh, language extension for the Robot Vision Toolkit. Uh, try it out yourself. You can download the Robot Vision Toolkit from www.emgrobotics.com, and of course you can buy the headset from um, NeuroSky, the website I showed before um, in the beginning of the video.